Hello children, today we are going to learn about the Roman system and as you have learned in the previous class also that Romans used the following, Roman used the seven symbols to write any number, they do not use any digits. So there is no zero in the Roman system and also Roman system does not use place value, it uses rules of addition and subtraction of the seven numerals to write any number. So here I made one uh, table, so Roman numeral and Hindu Arabic number, the few symbols which are the basic symbols, seven symbols which you sh should know, I, V, X, L, C, D and M, I stands for 1 and B stands for 5, X for 10, L for 50, C for 100, D for 500 and M for 1000. So for these there are some rules, 4 rules are there, numeral I, X, C and M can be repeated 3 times to represent a number, okay. Which digit, which numeral I, X, C and M can be repeated 3 times like uh, V, L, D are not repeated, remember that. So 3, for example, if I write I 3 times, so that means 3, I cannot increase one more I. So this means these, uh, these I are adding with either the repetition means addition. So I plus I plus I that is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. So only I can repeat it 3 times, I cannot write, if I want to write 4, I cannot write 4, I cannot write I 4 times, this is wrong, only 3 times can be repeated. Likewise X also can be repeated, X plus X plus X that is 10 plus 10 plus 10 equals to 30, X stands for 10. So it also can be repeated till 3 times, we cannot increase one more X after it likewise 3 100 I have written on C C C C that means C plus C plus C that becomes 300 so in the same way C cannot be re repeated more than 3 times fine now let's come to the rule 2 a smaller numeral written to the right of a numeral of greater value is always added to the greater numeral right to the greater numeral. So V is the greater numeral and I is the smaller numeral. So this is the right hand side, this is right hand side. So great I, I is on the right hand side and this is on the left hand side. So if the numeral is written on the right hand side of the bigger numeral, then it means it is added, fine. So V stands for 5. So 5 plus 1 is equal to 6, like x stands for 10, 10 plus 5, v stands for 5, so 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. Lx, that means L stands for 50 and x is on the right hand side, so it is adding with the bigger numeral 50 plus 10 that is 60. In the same way Cx, C is the bigger one, x is the smaller one, so 100. C stands for 100 plus 10 that is 110. Now come to the rule 3. A smaller numeral written to the left of a numeral of greater value is always subtracted from the greater numeral. It means if there is a greater numeral and the smaller numeral is written on the left hand side that means these are subtracting with each other. V stands for 5 and I stands for 1 and it is on the left hand side, this is the left side. So it, these two numerals are subtracting with each other, any 5 minus 1 that is 4, same way X, L, X is the smaller one, L is the bigger one, L stands for 50, 50 minus 10 that is 40. Now X, C, that means C is the bigger one, this one is the smaller one, 100 minus 10 that becomes 90. Fine. Now rule 4, when a smaller numeral is placed between two numerals of greater value, it is always subtracted from the greater numeral immediately following it. Now what does it mean? If the number comes like uh, if I write 
x and x these two are the greater numeral and in between there is i this means uh, it should be subtracted from the numeral immediately following it fine so we we cannot go with this x we will go with this x because it is immediately following this numeral so we will subtract this i from this one so this is 10 and this is 10 minus 1 9 that becomes 19 now come to this uh, example x and v and between i is there so x stands for 10 v stands for 5 both are the bigger one bigger than this one so one will be followed immediately after the following it uh, after the numeral which is after i so i will be subtracted from 5 that means 10 plus 5 minus 1 that becomes 40 now 2x are here and one more x and between there is the smaller one smaller numeral so it will be subtracted from this one this x it will not be added with this x because according to the rule it will be subtracted from the greater numeral immediately following it so 10 plus 10 that becomes 20 and this 10 minus 1 9 so becomes 29 c x x i v v and x are both the bigger one i is the smaller one so it will be subtracted with v it will not be added with this x so c stands for 100 x and x 10 plus 10 and this 5 minus 1 that become 4 so 100 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5 minus 1 4 so 124 fine now few things you must remember first rule is the symbol i can be subtracted from v and x now let's see the table v and x i can be subtracted with v and with x fine but uh, it means that we can subtract i with only v and x like v uh, we can write one uh, i and v that means 5 minus 1 it becomes 4 so i can be subtracted with v and x now the simple x can be subtracted from l and c symbol x can be subtracted from l and c fine similarly c can be subtracted from d and m while making your table you can write these uh, numerals on the top over here just to remember that from which numeral we can subtract fine symbols v l d are never subtracted so symbol v l and d are never subtracted and they are never repeated also so which three numerals are repeated i have told you in the rule number one i is repeated three times x is repeated three times c is repeated three times m is repeated three times so v l d are not repeated fine so while making your table you can write this just to remember it now let's come uh, to the few examples now the first example write in roman system i have taken one number 36 36 means let's expand the number 30 plus 6 now 30 30 is not there in the table fine and which number i can uh, repeat three times i can repeat i i can repeat 10 also if i repeat 10 three times so it becomes 30 so let's write 30 x plus x plus x and plus 6 6 is not there in the table but 5 is there if i add 1 to 5 it will become 6 so how i will write 5 plus i that becomes 6 now 30 means i am removing the symbol of a uh, addition so triple x and v i so it become 36 97 90 is not there in the table what is there in the table there is 100 in the table and if i subtract 10 from 100 it becomes 90 so let's expand 
90 plus 7. 90 C I have written down 100. So, bigger numeral we subtract the smaller one. So, it will give us 90. So, I will subtract 10 from it. It, it will give us 90. Now, plus 7. So, V plus I plus I that means 5 plus 1 plus 1 it becomes 7. So, let us remove the symbol of addition. So, it becomes x c v i i 97. Now, let us come to the another question write in Hindu Arabic system. Now, the numeral number is written over there and now we have to write it down in the Hindu Arabic system. Now, let us see these are the bigger numeral and the smaller one is written in between. So, as per rule I have told you this is 10 plus 10 plus and what is this? 10, 10 minus 1 that is 9. So, 20 plus 9, 29 that become 29 fine. Now, let us come to the another example x l v i x x is 10 and l is 50 50 subtracted 10 so this is 50 subtracted 10 so it becomes 40 and uh, what is this this is 5 plus 1 it will give you 6 so 40 plus 6 will become 46 in the same way you can solve other questions also I hope this must be clear. Any questions just ask me, write your question in below the comment box, I will give you the answer. Thank you.